let's take a look at how you create a classroom in Google Classroom. I've already gone ahead and logged into classroom.google.com. I'm going to click the plus sign next to my email address in the upper right hand corner. As a teacher, you have the ability to both join a class and create a new class. Students will only have the ability to join a class. Click Create Class. You'll need to give your class a name and a section number. When creating your Google Classrooms, I suggest you create a classroom for each section or period you teach. So if you teach five sections of Algebra 1, I would create a classroom for each section. The reason for that is sometimes you may need to tell just period one something. If you create just a period one classroom, you're able to send them a message. If you put all of the students in the same classroom, you won't be able to individually contact each separate period. So my suggestion is always to create a classroom for each section that you teach. Give your class a name and a section number. Once you've entered the class title and section number, click Create. When the classroom is created, you will notice that Google automatically picks a theme for your classroom. You can change that by clicking Select Theme to select a different Google recommended theme, or you can even upload your own photo. So you could take a picture of your class and upload their photo here. The first place I want you to start in your Google Classroom is the About tab. A lot of teachers forget about this tab and leave it blank. I think it is a useful tab in Classroom and should be filled in. You'll notice that you have an area for a title and a course description. Now if you're an elementary teacher, you probably don't have a course description, but you could use this um, section for a welcome message to your students. You also have a place to put your room number, and you can go ahead and save that information. Below this, you'll see an area to add materials. Now, this is a great spot to put those things that you typically hand out the first day of class, things like your class rules, your course syllabus if you're a secondary teacher. Um, at, at the elementary level, maybe you're going to put your class supply list here. Um, you might also link a website that you have your students use frequently. Anything that you want your students to have easy access to, um, I would put here in the About section. Year-long class materials should go here in the About section. So if you click Add Materials, you'll have a place for a title, and you can see you can, um, add a you can upload a file, you can add something from your Google Drive, you can add a YouTube video, and you can even add a link to a website. So I'm going to put my syllabus here, and that is in my drive, so I'm going to use the Drive option, and I'm going to locate my syllabus, and add it, and then I'll click Post. I also have a classroom website that I want my students to use, so I'm going to add that as well. And this is a link, and I have that, linked, that link listed right here, which I'm just going to copy and paste over here. I'll click Add here and Post. So again, use the Materials section on the About tab for things that you want your students to have easy, quick and easy access to. On the Students tab, this is where you'll see all of your students listed. Now, how do you get students into your Google Classroom? Give them this code. Write this code on the board. Have your students go to classroom.google.com, click the plus sign, and enter this code, and they will automatically be added to your classroom. Couldn't be any simpler. When you're ready to start adding content to your classroom, you'll click over to the stream.